Welcome. In this video, we'll show you what's new in FL Studio 20.9.1. While this was originally supposed to be a maintenance update, in true ImageLine fashion, our developers kept adding in new features. So, now I need to make a what's new video instead of just sneaking this one onto the download page. So, let's get right into it. Playlist. There is a new Quantize Song Drums playlist menu option. You can select between several time intervals to quantize the way the playhead behaves when jumping around in your song. When making unique as sample, you can now hold Shift to skip the file name and save prompt. Instead, our standard naming convention is used. By popular request, you can now also show peak meters on instrument tracks in the playlist view menu. <sighs> At last, balance has been restored to the universe. Yeah. Undoing actions will now no longer open the undo history in the browser yeah. automatically. Yeah. Yeah. No more losing track of where you were just seconds ago. FPC and Frequency Splitter now support context-aware values. Type Sense for the main pitch in FPC and Decibels and Hertz values in Frequency Splitter. And we've changed two buttons. In the Plugin Manager, it now says Find Installed Plugins. And in the About panel, we went for Open Unlock Window. Mixer. We've added an option to always show the external input levels regardless of what the monitoring is set to. With all the new features here, you may think that bug fixes took a back seat in this release. But this is still at heart a maintenance update. So, the development team fixed a cold 127 bugs since FL Studio 20.9's release. 20.9.1, eh? Well, it seems like we've almost run out of FL Studio 20 release numbers. That can only mean FL Studio 21 is just around the corner. Why not head over to the ImageLine forums and check out some of the new features we have been teasing for FL Studio 21? Link in the video info. And with that, you're all caught up. We hope you'll love FL Studio 20.9.1 as much as we love your lifetime free updates.